I'm Jeremy with Airworks Heating and Air Conditioning. Right now I'm going to be talking about um, going over wiring with a basic, very basic thermostat from heating to cooling um, to be able to turn on your fan only option and you know the benefits of being able to actually do it correctly the first time. With wiring a thermostat what you're going to want to do is push the wires in. The biggest thing to remember is, is that on this thermostat there's an R and an RC. Now R represents 24 volt heating and RC represents 24 volt cooling. What I'm going to do is make sure that there's a jumper wire in between there. Basically screw this in the inside of here. Make sure it's good and tight. Um, our next step on this one, um, this one has an O or a B on it or in the inside of here it actually says W. So on the inside that's going to be our heating leg. Um, one of the things that you want to make sure of when you're actually wiring in a thermostat is to make sure you turn the switch off on the side of the furnace or you can actually short the control board out or the transformer. W represents cool or heating on this type of a thermostat. When we're using cooling now, a lot of times it's, it looks like it's kind of color-coded so that it's, it's yellow. Um, sometimes this wire can be blue. We're going to plug that in just like that, and that's going to be your cooling leg. Now, if you ever want to have an option of being able to turn on a fan and you use the fan-only option, that's going to go into G, um, and typically that wire is going to be green. Rule of thumb is, is that if you hook them up on these exact things at the thermostat, then you're going to want to have to wire them up the same exact way on the furnace too.